The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So that's talking about how these uh, pe people that come into your life that are attacking you, the thief comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. So you've all seen that happen. That's, hap that's happened to you. Uh, you know, because you're not you're not protecting yourself spiritually. You're not you're not you're not letting God protect you. But, you know, perhaps um, is the case. That could be the case. And so God wants wants you to have life. Wants you to have abundance of life. And God wants to give you that. All right. The next. Scripture is about bondage, and that is Romans chapter 8, verse 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. So, God is saying, I've adopted you as my child, so you don't have to be afraid of spiritual slavery anymore. Uh, because God wants to give you, God wants you to be spiritually free, in essence, um, with with. God as your father, rightfully so. All right, and then we have another one about God being the father. So that's the same chapter eight, verses twenty-eight, twenty-nine. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did pre-designate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So it sounds like there he's saying that, wow, we were predestined to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Um, so... Wow, that's kind of that's a that's a lot of responsibility, you know. And he knows we're sinners. He doesn't expect us to be sinless like Jesus Christ. But we were conform we're being conformed to His image, and Jesus Christ was the firstborn among many brethren, the body of Christ. All right. So here's another one about vengeance and it is Romans chapter 12 verse 19 dearly beloved avenge not yourselves but rather give place unto wrath for it is written vengeance is mine I will repay saith the Lord so that that take that takes such a burden off of you and I because He's saying, don't try and get revenge on people. Leave that space empty. Because God will open up a can when he has to, when it when that when he needs to serve out justice. Okay. Okay, we know that's true. And uh That's it. That's why we forgive. We don't need to, to get revenge that's God that's God's job I mean think of it this way if if somebody oh that's kind of a bad example but yeah I mean God you're we're the children of God God will handle 
any kind of any kind of justice that needs to happen. And believe me when I say don't try and get revenge because I've tried and it's a bad idea. All right, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. Don't be stupid like I was. So this next one is about the life-givingness of God again, chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So that's great. He's just saying, don't don't conform yourself to the world, to what you see on TV and and all the filth and garbage that fills this world up. Don't be, you know. I mean, really, do you really want to be like the 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 retarded clowns on the Jersey Shore? or whatever is supposed to be cool these days you know um, and and in the renewing of your mind you'll be able to prove what is good and acceptable and perfect through God okay moving on another one about forgiveness that's important so this is going to be 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So he made, he made Jesus Christ to be sin for us because he didn't sin, so that we could be made righteous with and and be connected back with God in Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so Jesus Christ is that God connection for man. <clears throat> All right. So now we have. Another one about God being the Father. So this is Second uh, Corinthians chapter seven verse four. Great is my boldness of speech toward you. Great is my glorying of you. I am filled with comfort. I am exceedingly joyful in all our tribulation. So this is kind of a strange one because. It's like God God is glorying you. He's filled with comfort and um, exceeding joy in all our tribulations. So okay. it's like God is it's all to me it's like almost like God saying he's happy for all the trouble we're having because it it we're supposed to be fighting this fight. It was meant to happen. And, you know, God, God's joyful about it. He's not afraid. God has no fear. And with God, when God is with us, we shouldn't have any fear either. Okay, this next one is about doubts about God. So this is going to be 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse, verses 3 through 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So, you know, we may walk in the flesh, but to me that means we don't need physical weaponry or 
phys we don't need physical violence to f to fight this fight. The weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So God God can take anybody anything down that He wants, and and so He's saying. cast down any ungodly knowledge bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ so all all the worldly ungodly knowledge you know all the people saying aliens created us or whatever all the garbage cast it out and just give obedience give that obedience to Christ um, so I have some more but I will I will continue later on in another video